guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting to reading two episodes 41 and 42 of Twin Star Exorcist. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 41 in 3, 2, 1, go. Actually, I'm kind of happy I watched this first because, you know, your girl is still pissed <laughs> about that, mm, that, that's so close of a kiss, and then you were like, big old fuck yous. And they're going to show it again, aren't they? I, I know. I know this damn show. They're going to show that shit again. And I, you're going to break my heart. I don't want to see that. But this is also when, like, um, the rest of the 12 Guardians are all going to get captured, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really wish my button was back. Oh, there it is. <laughs> they gotta make me wait. How many more episodes do we have? We're on 41 and 42. So 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. We got seven. Wrong. Eight weeks left. <laughs> but if we're doing it by two... So that's eight episodes, so two, four, six. Yeah, still eight. Still eight weeks. Yeah, you know, but... is always like what one step at oh we're getting the last opening oh and my headphones are falling god damn it um he's always like no offense one step ahead of y'all mofos like oh seriously i cannot believe we're we're so close to this being over because it feels like just yesterday we started this and I thought this was going to take me a really long time. It's not like, not like Monogatari or Simpho Gear long because I know, like, we all know Monogatari took me the longest to finish because it is such a big, long series and such. And some people have, like, kind of talked about that the anime might be coming back. We're not 100% sure on that yet. Um... But I really thought this was going to take me maybe till like August or September to finish. But I can't believe we're eight weeks left. Eight weeks? Yeah. Or, yeah. That's crazy. do that what the fuck is wrong with you they haven't even officially kissed in the damn show but you make them kiss in the opening well do you know how fucked up that is
sucking the life force out of him, probably. Great. Well, yeah, once again, one step ahead of you guys, like, don't matter the fuck what. And there he fucking is. Really, truly surprised about him working with Abasa? Mm. Oh, of course, come on, he's a bad guy. Mm. He could do what he needed to do. Oh, I thought you would have already killed them anyway. Mm. I mean, because, you know, like, let's think about this. A couple of them had names. And a couple of them were important. Because, once again, if you have a name, you are important. You ain't got no name, you just cut off. <laughs> You've just, you know, fallen into his fucking plans.
I mean, real quick, did you really think that that was going to work, though? I mean... Damn, all of them at once. so fucked up and that's how you really truly know shit has really hit the fan that the most OP of all OPs in this show are just done now oh my god my fucking earring I meant to check it out So you basically telling me once he just took all the fucking powers from the twelve guardians, he just turns into like, a, not not even like a kind of semi moth man, like yeah, kinda, yeah, yeah. That or if you want to truly die, just stay here. Something tells me resonance is not going to work against Kudanashi. I mean... Uh... Mm -mm, nothing that like <laughs> to him that was probably at least like a little a little teeny tiny thing like a, a little prick paper cut something all these attacks that they're using the most powerful fucking attacks that they have on them nothing Um, y'all screwed. Dead ass. Like, oh. Yeah, th th there's nothing else you can do.
But of course, you're going to have something for him, right? Got you. Yeah, but I don't think that's going to hold Kadanashi like, that much longer. Because, I mean, come on. He has the power of everybody else. So he's had that hatred in him for such a long time. I don't even think so. Told you. Oh! <gasps> if he fucking dies... Oh. And then we guys are only going to be able to use it for like a certain amount of minutes, right? Now see, like, okay. Tatara is doing good, but you know, since Tatara is doing this, why the heck? Don't Rokuro and Benio take the time to go behind Shima <laughs> to I mean, that would be great, but who knows? Still, I don't think that killed him. Probably Tatara, but not Kadanashi. Wait, oh, oh. Uh, so was you two about to straight up get killed by him? Oh, what the fuck? I mean, he just, he was only here for like two seconds and he just gets like absorbed and now he's, oh. I, I think Yuto's trying to take over now, possibly. Oh. Was. That's what he wanted. Oh. 
So now he has the powers of Kudanashi and the fucking 12 Guardians. He, he's now currently unstoppable. I don't know what in the world could stop him. But it was the other way around. Because it makes sense. You can't really end this show with how many of our episodes we have left. The eight episodes that we have left and the freaking... Hold on, let me do it again. Two, four, six, eight. Alright, one, two, three, four, not eight. The four weeks I have left with this show? Mm -mm, you can't. Because, of course, you gotta bring it back to the person who started all this bullshit... Fucking Yuto. That's the only way. It started with Yuto and Rokuro and then a little bit of Benio. Now it's ending with Yuto, Rokuro, and Benio. Because in the end, only Rokuro and Benio can kill him. That's it. Straight up. Now that the fact is, like, we're, we're going to consider right now for everybody in the, the 12 Guardians except Tatara. Because Tatara, I'm guessing, now is dead dead. He ain't coming back. Everyone in the 12 Guardians is now, like, just missing in action. We're, they're in the background. We all see that shit. But because of the fact is, you know, they're now, you know, like what they're currently are right now. They can't really do anything. Y'all just there on the side. You MIA. You just missed it in action. You watch him from the sidelines, even though I don't think they can watch either. But what's not expecting... Um, Kanashi to die in this episode. I was expecting at least Rokuro and Benio to do like a little bit more of a fight with him, and then in the following episode, him absorbing Yuto, and then Yuto being like, "Oh hey bitches, you missed me." <laughs> but now since Yuto is back into the into this picture now, and he is still at, at the what I said so many episodes ago, he is our main villain once again. And he now has the powers of all the fucking 12 Guardians and Kuranashi. How the fuck are you supposed to defeat that? I mean, because who oh got. <laughs> oh god. Hold up, because now I'm getting into like some JoJo type shit. This is like the first time when I watched JoJo and, and just seeing Jonathan and Dio, and I was like, yeah, Jonathan, how the fuck? Are you going to kill an immortal vampire? And we all know how the story, you know, Jonathan ends and such. I ain't going to tell it for people who, you know, haven't seen it. But, you know, me and the people who have and shit, we all know how that shit goes down. And then if you've seen part three and such, because like, cause it was so funny because me and my friend, we had a conversation about this last night because he, he's currently watching the show. He's on part two. But I showed him so many characters from part three and beyond all the way to part five because he he likes some of the characters from part five and it's just it. But he had asked me about the situation on like Jonathan and Dio and because of, he was like, Dio should be he should be dead at the end of part one, right? I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, Dio's an immortal vampire. Dio can't die. Um... But I was like, something happens in part three <laughs> to the point about Dio. But like, I was like, I can't really explain a lot to you without like saying certain things. I was like, if you know like anything about vampires or we know that they don't like garlic and stuff, and they can't be in the sunlight because you know sunlight will kill them. And this is that and the third one of many things and shit like that for such. I was like, just just take that as a form when you watch part three. But the fact is that, you know, this is... the Yuto, to me, is a character that cannot be killed. Or if he does get killed, even though essentially he didn't get killed episodes ago. Um, he's a character that no matter what, he is going to come back as the quote-unquote final villain. Bam! Right there. Final villain of this four-week series that we have left! Eight episodes, damn it. But honestly, I feel like we have everything to gain and lose with these last few episodes, especially Rokuro and Benio, because this is their last thing. 
they these two are going to have to put their all in these last four weeks that I have with this show in these last eight episodes. I feel like, of course, yes, Yuto is going to die because it, it makes the most sense. He is now the big bad once again, so he has to die. But I feel like somebody else in the 12 Guardians besides, um, type of stuff will die. I'm not 100% who, but it might be someone. Someone else might wake up and, and try to do some sacrificial shit, but... I don't know. I don't know. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 42. Alright, episode 42 and 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. But really, I didn't think Kodanashi was going to go down like that. I thought it would be like a little struggle between the two. Excuse me. Of course not. Waiting for you to return. That I was gonna burn. That's shade. Hmm. Well, of course, they're a package deal. And even though, like, it might not be a lot to, you know, freaking Yuto, oh, it's going to be a lot to Rokuro and Benio. I mean, because two years, it is a long fucking time. But seriously, I really just hope <sighs> it's worth it. Just kick his ass. Kill him. Just kill him. We've all, I, I've been wanting for it. Waiting, wanting, praying. Because we all knew he wasn't dead after that last episode. Because, I mean, come on now. Let's be a little obvious about that shit. But, yeah. Just, mm. But these two, honestly, deadass have matured so much. Ever since after this situation of Yuto and then Sai. Precious baby. They've literally learned to become a team. Becoming, quote unquote, parents. And still working together and learning the relationships of everyone, well, comrades that they worked with in the past, even up until now. And they know how to work as one, as a fucking unit. Their hopes, their wants, their dreams, <clears throat> strengths and weaknesses. It just binds them together. And I'm just so fucking happy. So sad that we're so fucking close to the end of the show. And I'm like, damn. I don't want this to end, but of course, it's gonna end. It's 
So now, how the fuck is Maida and her dad and everybody else going to get to where Rogue and Benio are? Well, at least you two are okay. <laughs> But to you, it's still not enough, huh? You know what I think this show should have did? Okay. Because this is kind of like something what, like, mm, St. Magic Out Powers Omnipotent did was one episode on the other character and such. What they kind of should have did with this show. We should have had another episode on Yuto. Finding out, yes, he's alive, and this is then the third, and everything, right? And to see him train, but of course not. Come on now. So, of course, he's unstoppable. Hella fucking powerful as hell. So, you really think like your resonance or anything is going to work against him? You're like, that's going to do anything. But of course he has something planning, right? Right? I mean, come on now.
the chamber in darkness. So we kind of like in the between, necessarily, I believe. Because he did research, of course. Oh, um, 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 oh my god. Mm. It looks like him. No, it's not him because his hair's not white. So you're telling me this dude has been resting here for such a long time? I'm about to say, yeah! <laughs> so now he's dead? Oh. Of course. That's bullshit. He's lying to you to manipulate with you. Oh. Was he a bossa? Exactly. You can't believe everything he says. Because of her. Mm.
Yeah, but can you? Can you, though? Probably not. I mean, yes, he can do it on his own, but he needs Benio in order for everything to work. I mean, because no offense, he got some good hand-eye coordination, but... Oh, fuck. And of course, he's going to enjoy it. Huh. Honey. Oh.
Funny as hell. room. Oh, but he's definitely going to get away. See? <laughs> okay, something tells me by episode, uh, just bit my tongue. Okay, by episode 45 going into 50, so the last, like, five, maybe six episodes, but prefer preferably five, um, that is when we're going to see Rokuro, Benio, and Yuto duke it out to the point that Rokuro and Benio will be our victors by the end of this. They get married, they kiss, they have kids, happily ever after, this is that and the third we end the series possibly i don't know but like I, i'm still hoping for a happy ending for this show Arima, oh my god thank god you are okay oh my god but yeah sir if you could have just explained what all happened to you after what this caught you would be nice because you know context context clues we need clarity it's this is that and the third because it, it's kind of <laughs> compared to Monogatari. Uh it's like that one guy who was who told Aragi, you know, there's gonna be one day where I'm not gonna be here and you're gonna have to handle all these women by yourself. And you know, every single week <laughs> Aragi was like, Yeah right, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, psh, you ain't leaving and then he leaves and we all sit here like, wait, sir, I knew that was gonna happen. Um well fuck you up <laughs> Oh god. Oh. But the fact is that we now know the truth about Benny. I'm mean, not Benny or Rokuro. Like, oh, does this change anything? No. We still love Rokuro no matter what. And I think Benny will still love him no matter what. Now we're going kind of in the Beauty and the Beast sale with this. I mean, oof. But, oh god. Whatever the fuck is about to happen next, I, I'm so fucking excited and I cannot wait to see what is going to be in store. I'm guessing Benio is going to be kind of, from what it looks like, um, missing an action out of commission for a couple episodes. I don't know. Not going to know until we get to next week, but we just got to wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episodes 41 and 42 of Twin Star Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 43 and 44. Bye, guys.